What is up you guys, Max back here with another video and in this video I'm going to be telling you guys why you should never ever get Lamborghini doors for your car. So let's get right into it. So as you guys can see right now I'm next to the C6 Corvette. It is my friend's and he actually had a very terrible terrible experience putting Lamborghini door hinges on his car. And I sort of wanted to share that experience with you guys and you guys can decide if you want them or if you don't want them. But I also want to preface this video by saying if you like it, you can do whatever you want with, with your money, with your car, you can do whatever you want. But I just want to share his experience and it might change your mind if you're planning on doing this. So let's get right into it. The first reason I would recommend staying away from the Lamborghini door kit or set or vertical doors, whatever you want to call it, is they're expensive. You're spending a lot of money to change your already cool looking stock car. So whether it's a Charger, a Mustang, a Camaro, it wasn't really made to have these door hinges and you're spending $800 for the product or $1,000 for the product depending on where you get it. In this case, my friend bought the vertical door kit and he installed it himself, but a lot of people are spending another $1,000 for labor. If you can afford it, I'll skip that reason, but it's one thing to keep in mind. These things are super, super expensive. The next thing I'm gonna be talking about is the practicality. Okay, so I'll show you guys what it looks like, but when you're actually opening this door up, you, you have to open it all the way out and then up and it's super it, it i mean you don't have to be a bodybuilder or anything to lift it up but it definitely takes some strength to lift it up and it can sort of get annoying so that is something to keep in mind it's not like an actual lamborghini where you probably click a button or, any, or something like that and it just pops up obviously when they're up they look super cool but at the same time it's not going to be something that's practical to do if you're going to the grocery store it's going to be sort of a pain now there is a benefit to it because you have to actually take it out and open it like a regular door before you actually lift it up the benefit is that you can just slip out and then when you want to, you can raise it up. But at the same time, it's not like you're actually changing it to a Lamborghini door where you can actually just lift it up. It sort of becomes a pain. And I know from at least my friend's experience, he says he almost never does it. At first he was super excited about it, but he never really has the chance to actually lift it up. And he said it's sort of annoying to do, to, to lift up, then put down, then close it. So that's something to keep in mind. The next thing I want you guys to keep in mind, especially for this car, I can't speak on other cars, but my friend bought this kit from Vertical Doors. Now, they claim that this is a bolt-on kit, but he actually had to remove part of his fender to actually fit the kit in. I'll show you guys where he had to do that, but it wasn't actually, I mean, it was a bolt-on, but he had to actually cut part of his car, so it's not necessarily gonna be something, you can always go back, but at the same time, you, you have cut part of your car out, if that makes any sense. So, it's one thing to keep in mind. Maybe it's just for the C6, the, you know, the vertical door kit, but I did see some other cars online, like a Camaro, where they actually had to cut sort of that inside of the fender out to fit the actual new hinges on. So it's, it's gonna be something that you can always go back from, but at the same time, you're sort of making a permanent cut to your car. Altogether, you're, you're changing your stock car. Like this is a Corvette, it's not really meant for this. I mean, it's already, it already looks good, it's a C6 Corvette, and you're trying to make it look like a Lamborghini or something like that, something that it's not. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, if that's what you like, and I think they do look super cool when they're up. Like right now, it looks, it does look nice, but at the same time, it's like, it's a super nice car as it is. You're spending a lot of money, and it's sort of a pain to actually put up, and you had to go through a lot to actually put it on, and it just becomes like this, becomes a bigger deal than it probably should be, and it's not as easy as you'd like it to be, so, or at least my friend, he would have liked it to be a lot easier, and he wishes he'd never actually put it on. He's looking to actually take the kit off and sell it, so it goes to show you how much he enjoyed it, but this is just one person's experience. Maybe someone else loves them, and there's definitely some benefits, like I mentioned, the fact that you can open it regularly and then get out, that's definitely a benefit. Overall, it's probably just going to be more of a headache than it's really worth, and I would just recommend keeping your stock door hinges on your car. So that's just my take on it. You guys can let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. I really would appreciate it, and I'm out. Peace.